What is he? What did he do with Loose Change? Was he? Uh, he did a lot of it. Uh, I mean, he worked on you know uh, both the films. Uh, now I know that like Popular Science had like a whole uh, magazine article dedicated to. Yeah, that's Hearst Publishing. Hearst Publishing. Yeah, is Remember? that what that is? I mean, in the Encyclopedia Britannica, next to the word yellow journalism is Hearst Publishing, and they also own A and E, and they run these sit these dramas where where pot smokers are nine eleven truthers and they're killing people and are terrorists. I, I can play the clip, the, the, the latest one. So it's pure propaganda, and they lie. They say, in the Popular Mechanics book, they say not, NORAD only intercepted one plane in all of its history. Before nine eleven. that was Payne Stewart. And then we go and get the NORAD records and the NORAD spokesman after Payne Stewart bragging, in this year we've already intercepted 167 aircraft. Everybody knows, pilots know that if your plane gets off course, go around a storm. You know they send up F-16s. So, wow. so, so that's one line. Uh, they also said that Building Seven uh, fell because the fuel tank blew up. NIST admits that isn't the case. Now, the Building Seven thing, you know, if you if you look at the way it fell, I mean, it looks like a controlled demolition, like more so even than Building One and Building Two. Is it possible? that it was just a flaw in the construction, that a gigantic raging fire inside the building caused it to collapse like that. Is it even possible? No, no, they've now, they've given five different reasons it fell, and now the six, they said the last five, they were wrong. Right. The, the, the new one is thermal expansion. It's never happened anywhere in a building before. Uh, and But that's not even the issue. We have all these firefighter and police videos now where they're saying, get back, they're going to blow it up, get back, and then BBC. So do you think that they set it up like when they were building it like this? I believe they meant to fly the Pennsylvania plane into it and something happened. And I had Pentagon people tell me that the Pentagon refused orders and did shoot the plane down. And that, and that they meant later in that morning to have Flight 93 fly into it, so it was already wired. And that was the CIA headquarters. Huh. So they still had to blow it up. So, but uh, th this is what I don't understand. Do you believe that it was rigged like just just prior to the attacks, or do you think that it was constructed with all this explosives in it? Like, how do you think that? Well, they we found out. We found out. I mean, if if you want me to go through it, I, I could have you back for an hour sometime, and have the physicist and scientist on. It turns out that uh, they did uh, special construction. And that NASA, and then the very guys on NIST who are doing the cover-up, are the experts on a on a putty thermate thermite that they use to to to, to discouple rockets in their stages. Right. And then it, it's explosive; it cuts through things instantly. But they had to get through to no, the no, frame no. of the building. They to jacketed all the stuff, right? In 1999, they did a remodel and added new fireproofing and used a special company connected to the group. So they set this up from 1999, and they waited until... Stay there, stay there, here we go. With food prices soaring to all-time highs, as the dollar continues to fall in value, what can you and your family do to guarantee that fresh, nutritious vegetables will make it to your dinner table? Garden in a Can. Garden in a Can is your source for premium, long-term, storable seeds. Garden in a Can is ready when you are. Plant them now or store them for when you really need them. There are 16 large, hermetically sealed, non-hybrid, open-pollinated packets of seeds, along with detailed planting instructions sealed in a can for ultimate long-term protection. Garden in a can. It's that simple. Fresh. Healthy. Easy. Only $69.95 for over a half acre of safe, fresh vegetables. Ready when you are. Stop procrastinating and start preparing with Garden in a Can. For more details, visit GardenInACan.com today. That's GardenInACan.com or call 866-598-7396, 866-598-7396. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his M.O. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama Bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at InfoWars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists.
SouthSummit.com is the place for top name brand knives such as Kershaw, Spyderco, Cold Steel, Gerber, K-Bar, Boker, Leatherman, and more. South Summit has one of the largest selections of self-defense products on the web. Knives, stun guns, police batons, pepper spray, LED flashlights, emergency kits, binoculars, and tactical gear are just some of the great products found on SouthSummit.com. Receive discounted prices on camping and preparedness products from Camelback, Kelty, and Eureka. Check out our water storage barrels, water purification systems, and Mountain House freeze-dried foods that have a 30-year shelf life. Keep an eye on your family and keep them safe with our do-it-yourself spy camera systems. Mention that you heard this ad on the radio and you'll receive a free LED flashlight with your order. Visit SouthSummit.com. That's South Summit, S-U-M-M-I-T, SouthSummit.com. Or call toll-free 1-800-234-8654. That's 1-800-234-8654. Joe Rogan, uh, you were just saying only in Austin, Texas, would you have Alex Jones, the police chief. Yeah, well, the police chief was saying that. He was doing impressions of you. It's hilarious. He's going, one day closer to victory. I've got the documents. The police chief's out there. Yeah, I noticed he brought bodyguards, though. He's a little nervous of you. Nervous of you. What? He knows you're the ultimate fighting commander. I'm just a talker. I just talk. You know, Joe, I know people that know you, and you actually go to the gym. You, 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 I mean, you get into big stuff with big guys. You actually train with the police, actually. You said a lot of cops. Yeah, I, I mean, you're pretty. Cops, and and, and haven't you won some, uh, some awards? When I was younger, yeah, I fought a lot, won a lot of Taekwondo tournaments and some kickboxing fights. But yeah, I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't competed in, you know, several decades. And I had Chuck Norris on, and I said, who would win between you and Bruce Lee? And he basically said, Bruce Lee was just an actor. I'm a champion. What do you think would happen? Yeah, it's kind of true. Yeah, if I had a bet on, I had a bet on Chuck back in the day. Chuck was a badass. I was a huge Chuck Norris fan. When Chuck was thirty years old, how would he have done an open fight? He'd have got his butt whipped because of the grappling. Well, he well, he would have learned it, you yeah. know, for sure, yeah. uh, guaranteed. If there was mixed martial arts around when Chuck Norris was around when he was competing, definitely he would have learned it. And you know, a, a guy was a champion in anything. Whether you're a champion in boxing, whether you're a champion in wrestling. Most of it is your mental. ability, your, your your mental focus, and your ability to figure out what it what you need to do to get great at something. You know, and you can do that if you're if you're good at boxing, you can be good at jujitsu. It's the same thing. You just have to you know apply that same focus. I mean, there are certainly sports where someone has physical advantages. You know, like hey guys, rotate reef. the camera around so we can see the police chief in there. <laughs> uh, rotate. Uh, well, let's get some of the guys out of the studio first so we have room. Uh, let's uh, rotate the the, uh, the uh, camera around so we can see the police chief in there. Uh, no, this is the camera to rotate. If you rotate camera two, Alex, Alex is worried you're going to put him in a FEMA camp. If you put him in a FEMA camp, could it please be air conditioned? Here, rotate it around. Oh, I asked him. And listen, I asked him last time. I said the feds said, w- w- with, "Look, I've got a woman okay. going to a FEMA camp charged under the Patriot Act, L.A. Times. I've said this for spilling before. a Bloody Mary on a plane. I've said this to you before. And I'm going to say it again. Maybe that chick was a." Bag. She deserves to go Isn't to the that FEMA possible? camp. Isn't that possible? Isn't it possible? Isn't that possible that chick was a giant pain in the ass, and she was a pain in the ass to the uh, flight attendants, and then she was a pain in the ass to the cops that talked to her when she got off? Maybe she screams and yells. Maybe she likes to curse at people. Maybe she can't control her temper. Maybe she should be locked up. Maybe she's just a pain should, in the ass. Should she be ch- charged outside the Bill of Rights under the Patriot Act? Maybe. Maybe her. Look at you Maybe groveling. Just that one lady. Look at you groveling to the police. It's true. I'm licking their boots. You, you turned me over to them. <laughs> Listen, it's it's like I'm, uh, I'm doing it for the. I want the upper floor in the FEMA camp. Hey, let me I tell you what. I want the view. It's like O'Brien. Winston thinks O'Brien's his friend, and when he's in the FEMA camp jail, who's O'Brien door, and who's Winston? The, the guy that tortures him in 1984. Uh, O'Brien walks in mm. and he says, "They got you too," and he said, "They got me a long time ago." Oh, and, he's, and he's the guy that's going to torture Winston. Well, that's what everybody's worried about. And that's right? what it's this like, is. Look, O'Brien. Here, ro- ro- rotate that camera around right there. Camera three. He's showing that he's going to o- lock you up. There's O'Brien. Cups. There's O'Brien inside there right now. See, now this has been my take always on police officers and soldiers. And if you want to start blaming the people that are running this world, that's one thing. But cops aren't getting paid for that. They're not the ones that are profiting off of it. And narcotics officers never plant drugs on people. 
Well, I think there's there's certainly a lot of shady stuff that goes on oh. with, with narcs. 